We all know living soil is better. Here's five ways to make it. We talk so much about living soil and why it's so important. Here's five simple things you should be doing to make it. Compost. Compost, everybody knows it's good. Making super healthy compost is key to boosting the right microbial and fungal populations that you want in your soil. Keep watching because at the end of the video, I've got a way to multiply your compost. Cover crops. Cover crops are the cheapest way to build really good soil. What is a cover crop? It's any plant that you're growing not to harvest, but to feed the soil. And once you start to learn about the science behind root exudates, you start to realize just how powerful cover crops are. Cover crops are like seriously one of the best ways to build soil. No till. Guys, it's 2024. Stop tilling. <laughs> All the soil science agrees, tilling is really bad for your soil. It's that simple. Here's some of the reasons why tilling is bad, but there's a ton more and I'm gonna make so many videos about it. So stay posted if you're curious about why it's bad or about how you can make the shift to stop tilling. Deep mulch. Keeping your soil covered with a thick organic mulch has so many benefits. Here's some of them. As always, I'm gonna make a ton more videos about it. So if you're curious, drop a comment. Aerated compost teas. So you might've seen all those videos where people like drop banana peels into a bucket of water or weeds into a bucket of water. So that can be a cool way to make fertilizer, but I personally don't do it. I prefer to use aerated compost teas. And basically an aerated compost tea is a way that you can take your compost and then you boost the microbial and fungal populations by like 10 times or even 100 times. So anyways, there's five things you should definitely be doing in your garden to build beautiful soil. Feed your soil, not your plants.